What's going on, everybody? This is your boy, Matt Up. You know, I haven't did a video in a while, but I'm back again. Before I get started, I want to say, uh, y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the notification button, select all notifications. Every time I make a video, you'll get it. Got to talk about my Houston Rockets. Played the Knicks last night. Down by 20 points, come back to win the game by 15. Dominant performance. Love that. Red Nation, where you at? Stand up, baby. You know, got to talk about my Texans. Tom Savage gets the win, gets the Cardinals. Hoping that, you know, uh, boosts his confidence for Monday night when we play the Baltimore Ravens in Baltimore. Baltimore got a pretty decent defense. You know, they're playing pretty decent. Hope my Texans, you know, can, can you know, withstand the pain and, you know, get the job done. I heard that uh, I'm not really into soccer or anything, but I heard that the Dynamo got to the conference finals. They lost, but it's cool, you know, still a great season. Of course, we all know the Houston Astros won the World, World Series, so congratulations again to them. Hope y'all seen my video or that magazine that I got. Anyway, want to say this here, you know, uh, 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 my Rockets are doing pretty damn good, man. 15 and 4, beginning of the season, 19 games in, 15 and 4. Pretty freaking amazing. Love it. Hope my tech, my Rockets keep it up. Hope my Texans, you know, get back to winning formula. You know, Bill O'Brien, you know, doing pretty good as a coach, working with what he got. Now, speaking of that, this is what I want to make this video for. I begin a lot of other Texan fans say, Texans need to fire Bill O'Brien and Rick Smith. Now, the messed up part about that, this is just me personally. Nobody never says that when they're winning, only when they're losing, and that's crazy. People don't understand that when you have a riddled season like we're having, I know we, if we got every team has to have mentality next man up. But damn, we out of the next man. We don't have no more next man. It's like shit. <laughs> I mean, what? God damn. <laughs> so many injuries on our team. And then it's injuries to big key players. It's like it's injuries to our star players. It's like, come on, man. Shit. <laughs> what? It, God, I'm not one to talk about injuries. Oh, we had this injury. That's why we lost the game. No, that's not me. But, come on. It's like, dude, what the, f what? We had, Foreman went down. Will Fuller got hurt again. We all know about why, and Deshaun Watson, and Whitney Merciless, and all our tight ends, the first game of the season. We played the game with no tight ends. It's like, what? We had to have extra offensive linemen in the game to block and stuff like that. It's like, come on, man. It's like, <laughs> shit. <laughs> but you don't want to say five Bill O'Brien. Nobody said that when we had like six, seven, whatever different starting quarterbacks that one year when the Deshaun Watson, I mean, excuse me, not Sean Watson, DeAndre Hopkins was a, a third in the league in yards and receptions and stuff like that. Nobody wouldn't say five Bill O'Brien then. We made the playoffs, did good, you know, had a good season. Nobody was saying five Bill O'Brien then. Now they're also saying, uh, uh, can't think his name, won't come to the tip of my head right now. Defensive coordinator, um, can't think his name right now, won't come to my head. But anyway, saying fire him. I'm like, this is his first year being defensive coordinator. Uh, they're not going to fire him. You got to give him a chance. Nobody starts off with a win winning formula. Right off the bat. And, then, and, and so it's like, come on. Nobody does. So I cannot think of the man's name. It won't come to my head right now. I don't know why. But anyway, a defensive coordinator, you know. So it's like, come on. This is his first year being a defensive coordinator. You know, they let Romeo Cornell, uh, I'm not going to say let him go, but, they, you know, they gave him another position, you know, with the company to keep him around. So they let uh, – Golly, I cannot think of the man's name for nothing. <laughs> I'm about to look it up. But anyway, this is his first year being defensive coordinator, you know. So, yeah, it's going to be some little holes. He's going to see some stuff that, you know, he need to work on, stuff like that. 
Now, I will say this here. I think Jonathan Joseph, you know, he's and Kareem Jackson, you know, they're getting up there in their age, you know, they probably need to be switched around. He, uh, they're, uh, both of them getting a little burnt down. You know, they, they can't really defend like they used to. Uh, no knock on the guys, but, you know, it happens to everybody, you know, in every sport. It is what it is, you know. Once you get a come of age, you know, you can't do the things you used to do. It's just how it goes. That's his life. That's the human body. But, no. Uh, and, again, want to speak on Tom Savage, you know, I'm glad, you know, he got the win against the Cardinals, a not bad Cardinals team, pretty decent team. You know, hopefully we can sneak into the playoffs on the wild card. You know, we never make the playoffs on the wild card, but hopefully this year, you know, we can do that. Hey, you never know, might win the division. Doubt it, but it is what it is. You no, know, yeah, I'm a Texan fan, but, you know, I speak realistic. A lot of people are like, how are you going to doubt your team? I'm not really doubting my team. I'm just speaking the facts. You know, we, you know, we, we're what, we're what, 0-6 right now? Five, uh, uh, I got to look at the record, but, you know, we, we have, a, we got a losing record right now. And, you know, we lost two division games, so, you know, that's not a good Good look, trying to make the playoffs. And I'm talking about winning the division. Just being real, 100% honest. Now, what I will say this here too, I'm gonna cut this video short. Once again, y'all uh, hit that like button, hit the subscribe button, select all notifications. Now, I will say this here too, when it comes to like my Texans and my Rockets. You know, like I said before, I'm not a real big baseball fan, but anything to make the city look good, I'm all for it. Uh, Y'all, y'all keep up the good work. Love what you're doing. Watch this documentary of my Rockets, you know, back in the mid '90s when they won their two titles. A lot of people underestimate Akeem Olajuwon, but he has some stats up the ass, man. I'm, anyway, you know, I just want to just want to make another video because I haven't done it in a while. Uh, with that being said, I'm talking to Deuce. Peace.